Hey, what's up, everybody? Apex Legends Season 23 is right about to launch, and I'm going to be giving you guys the best controller settings right now in Apex. So heading on over to the controller settings, we are going to go to button layout right here. I use a PlayStation 5 controller on PC, and I use the default button layout. Some people do like to change this. This is going to be preference-based if you want to change some buttons to your liking. On stick layout, we have default, interact, reload button, tap to use and reload. Crouch button is on toggle. If you're someone who likes the bunny hop in the game and you want to use that movement mechanic, you're gonna have to use the hold right here me personally i'm not a movement player so i like having it on toggle aim button is hold survival slot button is on adaptive triggers is off trigger dead zones none menu cursor speed i like turning this up a bit this is going to help you guys a lot when you do shield swaps inside of death boxes you definitely want to turn this up a bit so that you can do quicker shield swaps so right over here to the controller settings what you guys are here for i play on 4-3 linear it's pretty straightforward. I do not use ALCs. 4-3 linear with small look dead zone. These are the same settings that most streamers, most YouTubers, most professional players use. Um, a lot of professional players might play on no look dead zone. Keep in mind that if you do switch to none, it's gonna give your controller a lot more stick drift. Me personally, I like playing on small. I've had no issues with it. So this is pretty much the settings that most pro players use. You can change this to none if you'd like. This is something for you guys to experiment with. If you're more of a casual player and linear is kind of hard for you guys to get used to because it definitely takes some time to get used to, I would recommend 4-3 Classic for you guys. So these are the options that I pretty much recommend to everybody. 4-3 Linear if you're more of a competitive, experienced player, if you're someone who's looking to really improve in the game. If you're a lot more casual and linear is a bit harder for you to get used to, I highly recommend 4-3 Classic. So over on the per optic settings, I do not use these settings. I have everything set to default. There are some people who might want to make some small adjustments to this. Um, if you're somebody who likes using snipers, for example, you might want to speed this up just a little bit to help you with tracking. But for me personally, I like leaving these all on default because I like having consistency with my aim. I don't like having different sensitivities for different optics, but this is going to be preference based. Some people do like to tweak these. Me personally, I do not use these. So in the gameplay settings, interact prompt style is default, but enhance is on, crosshair damage feedback is off, damage numbers stacking, enemy health bar enabled, ping opacity default, enemy highlight enabled, obituaries on, minimap rotation off, weapon auto cycle on off, always sprint is on. This setting right here, always sprint, highly recommend you guys keep this turned on. Every professional player has it turned on. It's gonna help you guys with maintaining speed and momentum. Right here, auto run. This looks like a new setting that they added into the game. I'm not sure why. I recommend you guys have this turned off. It looks very unnecessary. Jetpack control, this is pretty much only for Valkyrie. I don't play a lot of Valkyrie. I have this on toggle. Incoming damage feedback is 2D. Some people like having this on 3D. This setting right here is not that important. This is gonna be preference based, but for me personally, I have it on 2D. Taking damage closes death box or crafting menu off. This setting is very important. I recommend all of you guys have this turned off. Basically, if you're in a death box, and someone is shooting at you and you're taking damage, it's not gonna force you out of that death box. And that's important because you're gonna be in some situations where you wanna do a quick shield swap in the middle of a fight. And if you have this turned on, and by the way, for most people, their default settings have this turned on. So you definitely wanna turn this off. If you take damage in a death box, basically it's gonna force you out of that death box. And that's really bad because if you're in a situation where you need to do a shield swap, you're not gonna be able to because as soon as you take a little bit of damage, the death box is gonna close on you. Off-screen portraits, um, this is not a big deal. Some people like having it turned on. I have it turned off. Hop-up, pop-up, this setting is not very important. I like having it turned off. Basically, when you pick up a hop-up that goes into certain weapons, on the bottom right of your screen, it's gonna give you some more information about it. It's not really a big deal. I have this turned off. So the rest of the settings right here are gonna be preference-based. They're not gonna have any real impact on your gameplay. This is gonna be for you guys to decide. I do wanna show you guys these settings right here. Some of you guys asked me about it. These are the colors that I use for my crosshairs. It's pretty much a yellow gold color. Um, if you guys want the same color as mine, these are the numbers right here. And you guys could actually customize your crosshair color in these settings as well. There's some people who like having all kinds of different colors. So you guys can customize it right here. Um, the laser sight color, as you guys know, you can have a laser sight on your weapon. I use the same color. It's a yellow gold color. If you guys wanna copy it, it's right here. That's pretty much it. The rest of these settings are gonna be preference based. So over in the video settings, display mode is full screen, aspect ratio native, resolution is 1440p, brightness is 55%, FOV is 104, 
FOV ability scaling disabled, sprint view shake minimal. Um, over on the graphics settings, um, this is for PC. Pretty much everything is set to low so I can maximize my frames. If you guys want to know what frames I'm playing on, I play on 180 FPS. And by having all these settings set to low, it helps me maximize those frames. Over on the audio settings, master volume is 100%. Over in the advanced section, sound effects volume is 100%. I got all these other settings turned down a bit because when you're playing the game, you want to make sure that you can hear footstep audio, explosions, gunfire. And by turning down these unnecessary sounds, it definitely helps me concentrate and focus a lot more. Dialogue volume, for example, you know, when you guys are playing the game, the legends will sometimes talk to each other or they might talk during combat. By turning it down a bit, you can still hear them perfectly fine. They're still loud and clear, and it does help you, you know, hear footstep audio a bit better. So I do recommend that you guys turn these down just a little bit. And that is it for the settings video. I hope this could help you guys out. If you guys are new, please consider subscribing. I'm going to be dropping a lot of content this season in Apex Legends. If you guys got any questions, please drop a comment. I'm going to do my best to reply to all of you. I also got a great community here on YouTube where other people will be happy to help you as well. So thank you again for watching the video. I appreciate the support. I love you guys, and I will catch you guys on the next video.